Hey guys, this is Darkside2205, here to give you an in-depth look at my plugin, Hardcore Death. The current version is 3.0.2, and the purpose of this plugin is to make dying in Minecraft a bit more interesting. So let's open up the configuration file and see what we're working with. Alright, as you can see, all of the options are disabled by default. That way, the plugin doesn't do anything you don't want it to do. Right, the first option we have is Tag Killer with Player Name. It's pretty simple, if I set that to True, then any time a player is killed by a hostile mob, that mob will be tagged with that player's name. I'll give you a demonstration on that in just a second. Second option is mobs wear stolen equipment. We'll enable that as well. Now that doesn't do anything by itself, so let's scroll down here to global items. Mobs steal items and equipment from player. And we'll enable that too. Now with this feature enabled, any time a player is killed by a mob, that mob will steal all of that player's items and equipment. And with this feature enabled up here, mobs wear stolen equipment, not only will it steal that player's items and equipment, but if that player was wearing any armor or had anything in his hands, the mob will then equip that. So let's go ahead and save that. Reload the configuration. And see how it works. And as you can see, he's been tagged with my name, and he's wearing my armor. I think I want it back. And all I have to do is kill the mob, and he drops all of my stuff. Next we have mobs always drop armor, and mobs always drop held items. And if we set both of these to true, then any mob that spawns after we enabled these options will have a 100% guaranteed chance of dropping any of their weapons or equipment. And then after that we have op behavior, ops keep items on death, and ops keep XP on death. And if we set those to true, and you just so happen to be a server op, then you won't lose any of your items or equipment when you die, and you won't lose any of your experience. So let's go ahead and reload the configuration. And I'm gonna spawn a skeleton, I guess. Oh, that's a nice enchanted bow it's got there. And there it is. And I can do it again. And there it is again. And if I go into survival mode, and I die because I have op immunity enabled. As you can see, I didn't lose any of my items or my experience. The next feature I want to look at is the respawn kit. And if we enable that, then every time that we die and respawn with nothing in our inventory, we'll get a kit comprised of these contents here. I'm going to go ahead and change this to a golden sword, a bow, and let's say 64 arrows and underneath contents we have a cooldown option just in case you want to limit how often somebody can receive a respawn kit my server is set to 30 minutes but for the purpose of this video i'll just set it to zero that way i can keep farming the kit over and over again all right the uh, next option we have underneath respawn kit is custom messages and if we enable that well we guess what we get custom messages the respawn kit receive message is a message that is broadcast to a player anytime they receive a respawn kit, whereas the respawn kit deny message is broadcast to the player if they do not meet the cooldown criteria. So actually, to demonstrate that, I'll go ahead and set the cooldown to 10 seconds. And underneath respawn kit deny, we have mob revenge, which is broadcast to the server anytime a player kills a mob that previously killed them. In this case, ampersand P represents the player that killed the mob, and ampersand K represents the mob that was killed. The mob avenge message broadcasts to the server each time a player kills a mob that has killed another player. In this case, ampersand P represents the player that killed the mob, and ampersand V represents the mob's last victim. So let's go ahead and set this from null, which disables it, to you must 
survive for at least 10 seconds to get a respawn kit with an exclamation point. All right, now let's reload the configuration file and try it out. As you can see, I respawned. I got my golden sword, my bow, my 64 arrows, and my message. And if I try it again, it'll tell me that I must survive for at least 10 seconds before I get a respawn kit. And sadly, I receive no kit. All right, now if I get killed by a mob, and then come back and exact sweet, sweet revenge. You can see a message is broadcast to the server letting everybody know that I got my revenge. Okay, so the last thing I wanna go over is the per world configuration. So as you can see, I have some identical settings underneath global world and world two. The difference here is that global affects all worlds, whereas world and world two only affect those specific worlds. So items, keep items on death, will allow players to keep all of their items whenever they die, whereas clear inventory on death will cause players to lose all of their items permanently when they die. Items drop normally in PVP, regardless of any other setting, if set to true, will cause items to drop normally if a player is killed by another player. Mob steal items and equipment from player does what we discussed earlier, where if a hostile mob kills a player, it will steal his or her items and equipment. XP, keep XP on death, causes players to keep all of their experience whenever they die. They won't drop any. Lose all XP on death will cause players to lose all of their experience when they die. XP drops normally in PvP will cause experience to drop normally in PvP. XP goes directly to player, if set to true, will bypass dropping an XP orb when a player kills a mob or another player and instead send the experience straight to the player. Mob steal XP from player does the same thing as mob steal items and equipment from player, except that the mobs will now steal your XP as well. And once again, you can get your experience back by killing that mob. Or if a mob steals another player's experience, you could get a whole lot of experience by killing that mob and getting that player's experience all for yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and for world, I'm going to enable keep items on death and keep experience on death. And for world two, I am going to clear inventory on death and lose all XP on death. Let's reload the configuration and keep in mind that I'm in world two, so I should lose all of my items when I die. And as you can see, I lost all of my items. And if I have experience, I will lose all of my experience as well. And I didn't drop any orbs or any items. Now let's go to world. which is significantly more boring. Give me some items. And give me some experience. And let's see what happens when I die here. Okay, I respawned in world two, but as you can see, I didn't lose any of my experience or my items. So that is the multi-world configuration setup. Thank you for watching and please enjoy Hardcore Death.